The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Would I have a turkey that wasn't nice? <laughs> I mean, especially nice. I got a real honey of one here. Been saving it for a special customer. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Have you got another one? Oh, Mrs. Carmichael. You won't find a better one than this. Born and bred on the finest farm in Vermont. <laughs> Ernie, we don't want to adopt him. We want to eat him. <laughs> Besides, he feels kind of tough. I wonder what made him nervous. He feels like he did a lot of pacing. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, please don't pinch the leg. He's so tender, I'm afraid he'll bruise. <laughs> Believe me, this is the best one I got. Okay, okay, wrap it up. Be careful of it now. It's for Christmas dinner. Oh, so you're not going to your mother's in Jamestown for Christmas this year? No, not this year. Oh. Mrs. Bagley going to her uncle's in Philadelphia as usual? No, we all decided it would be wonderful if our two little families stayed right here and spent Christmas together for a change. Isn't it marvelous? This is the first time the five of us have ever spent Christmas together. Yeah, I'm sure glad we're not going to Grandma's. Oh, honey, I thought you liked to go to Grandma's. You always have so much fun. Yeah, but it's hardly worth all that kissing. <laughs> <laughs> now, that isn't a very nice thing to say. You love your Grandma. I love Grandma, but I hate her lipstick. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ernie. Oh, Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Bagley. Hey, where's Sherman? He's next door waiting for the Christmas tree I just bought. Oh, maybe we can help him carry it. Okay. Come on, Jerry. Yeah, run along. Okay. Fine. Look at the beautiful turkey I got, Viv. Turkey? Yeah, for Christmas dinner. My family always has roast goose for Christmas. <laughs> goose? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we always have turkey. It's tradition. Thanksgiving is turkey. Christmas is goose. That's tradition. <laughs> oh, my family's had a roast goose Christmas dinner every year for 150 years. <laughs> Well, it's time you got out of that yuletide rut. <laughs> I happen to like that yuletide rut. Ernie, what does your family eat for Christmas? Whatever I'm stuck with. <laughs> <laughs> Last year it was oxtails. <laughs> Look, Viv, as long as I already bought the turkey, let's have turkey, huh? Okay. All right. I guess a turkey will be all right as long as it's stuffed with plenty of good old oyster dressing. <laughs> oyster dressing? Yeah, oyster dressing, sure. We always have chestnut dressing. Chestnut dressing? Oh, yeah, I can't stand oh, I can't oyster stand dressing. dressing. Say, how about stuffing the turkey with a goose? <laughs> I got a lovely goose here. Ernie, never mind. Look, Viv, we'll compromise. We'll have my turkey with your oyster dressing. I accept your gracious offer. Thank you. <laughs> the important thing is we're all going to be together for Christmas, huh? That's the important thing, believe me. Here it is. Oh, look at the tree, Mom. There it is. Oh, look. Look, look, Lucy. What? Is it that beautiful? A white tree? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, yeah, if you like white trees. What do you mean? We always have a white tree. Well, we always have a green tree. <laughs> a green tree? Oh, yeah, a green tree. Oh, Lucy, let's not squabble over every little detail this Christmas. You'll love this white tree when you see it all trimmed with the beautiful new gold ornaments I just bought. New gold <laughs> ornaments? <laughs> Well, I suppose if a person would have a white tree, they would have new gold ornaments. I suppose it'd go very nice with your neon lights. <laughs> Lucy, 
Don't tell me that you're from the dreadful little strings of gray popcorn and the sticky candy cane school of tree trimming. They're not gray and they're not sticky. I knew it. I knew it. I can see the moth-eaten Santa and the chipped glass birds right now. <laughs> now listen, we're gonna have to argue Please, about what Mom. goes. Mom, do you have to argue in public? It's so embarrassing. There's no argument. I bought a white tree, and we're going to have a white tree. We're going to have a green tree. A white tree. A green tree. White. Tree. Green. White. Green. White. Green. White. Hey. We're... Whatever happened to? Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> the only people in the world with two Christmas trees. One is green and one is, if you'll pardon the expression, white. <laughs> Jerry, remember the Christmas spirit, dear. So long, Tommy. Come on, Jerry, let's go Christmas shopping. Okay. Jerry, did you take your money out of your piggy bank? Yes, Mom. How many presents do you have to buy? Well, there's you and Chris and Aunt Viv and Sherman and Harry next door and my teacher and Tommy and Amy Schaefer. And you have money enough to buy presents for all of those people? Sure, I've got a whole dollar and ten cents. <laughs> oh, well then, go ahead, bye-bye. Come on, Sherman. Okay. Say, Mom. Yes, dear? Could I ask you something? Of course. Well, if you were going to buy a pair of gloves for a lady who's a mother and a blonde and about as big as you are, what size and what color would you buy? Well, I'd buy black in size six and a quarter. Black six and a quarter. Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, Mom, after we go Christmas shopping, we're going to the Y. All right, have a lot of fun. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Oh, dear. Lucy? Yeah? Do you think I've got enough mistletoe hung around? Plenty. <laughs> the only way a man could get in this house without being kissed is through the coal chute. <laughs> You're so right. Mom? Yeah? Could I ask your advice? About what? Do you think if I get Alan Harper a bottle of aftershave lotion for Christmas, it would be too personal? Well, no, dear, I don't think it would be too personal, but I just don't think it would be appropriate. Alan wouldn't have any use for aftershave lotion because he doesn't have any whiskers. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, well, then... <laughs> How do you know? Uh, oh, he told me so. Well, I've got to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Chris must have gotten her mistletoe up earlier than I did. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you know, Viv, I was just thinking, I'm kind of glad we had that little difference of opinion over the two trees. Makes everything twice as festive and twice as Christmassy. And twice as many pine needles to sweep up. Oh, who cares? Nobody. <laughs> At the door. Parcel post! More presents! More presents, huh? There you are, Mrs. Bradley. Oh. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Merry to you, Christmas, Johnny. Mom. Oh, here we are. Yep, there's one for me. One for me. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> now, Lucy, let me open that. You've hidden every present that's come into this house. Come Viv, on. Viv, don't you want to be surprised for Christmas? Now, look at that box. It's so flat, it's handkerchiefs. That wouldn't surprise me. I know it's handkerchiefs. Now, look, Viv, we've been all over this before. Now, my family always brings all the presents that come into the house, puts them all together. We open them all at the same time. Well, my family thinks that that's too many presents to open at once, so we always open all the out-of-town presents when they arrive. Give me that box. <laughs> well, I might have known anyone who'd have a white tree would be a goose-eating package peeker. <laughs> a very nice thing to say. Well, all right, I take it back. Well, fine. I guess it won't hurt me to wait till Christmas Eve to open my packages. Well, now that's a good girl. You'll enjoy it more. You open your packages Christmas Eve? <laughs> sure, we always have. Well, we open ours Christmas morning. Christmas morning. That's the proper time, yes. Well, that figures. That figures. What else would you expect from an evergreen-loving chestnut stuffer? <laughs> now, just a minute. Before we 
continue with this jolly holiday, I think there's a few things we better get straight. All righty. Tell me, when does your family usually have Christmas dinner? One o'clock Christmas Day. When does your family have its Christmas dinner? At six o'clock in the evening. Who hands out the presents? The littlest child. Who else? Everyone takes turns. That's who else. Oh, boy. <laughs> we usually hang our stockings on the mantel. We usually hang ours on the foot of the bed. We open our stockings first. We open our stockings last. <laughs> my father always read us Dickens' Christmas Carol. Well, my father always read us A Night Before Christmas. I'll bet my father could read better than your father. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that's so. And I'll tell you another thing. I can't stand having that gaudy white tree in my house. Well, you won't have to. Because I'm going to Philadelphia for well, Christmas. Well, that's all right with me, because I'm going to Jamestown. I'm all packed, except for the Christmas presents. So am I. I just left a note for the milkman. Are the children home yet? No, not yet. I have to call the station and make my reservations for Philadelphia. I already made them. <laughs> I made them at the same time I made ours for Jamestown. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Beth? Yes? How are we going to tell the children that uh, we're not spending Christmas here? Well, we'll... Well, just tell them that the plans changed, that's all. They've sort of been counting on staying here. Yes, I know they have, but uh, you know how children are. They'll be disappointed, and then in a couple of minutes, it won't mean a thing. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Probably won't bother them at all. So when they come in, you just go right ahead and tell them. <laughs> <coughs> Why me? Well, there's no point in both of us telling them the same thing at the same time. Well, if we're going to choose which one of us tells them, I choose you. Why me? <laughs> because you have twice as many children as I have. <laughs> Nothing doing. You tell them. Oh, no, you don't. You tell them. All right, I will. Hi, Mom. Hi. Oh, oh my God, Christmas the greatest thing. I'm getting so excited. Yeah, Oh, yeah, and everyone's so nice down there. And Children, nice I, I have something I want to tell you. What is it, Mom? Well, I want to tell you that Aunt Viv has something to tell you. <laughs> yeah, Mom? Well, I want to tell you that Aunt Lucy has something to tell you. <laughs> Who's going to tell us? I've got big news. What is it, dear? Alan Harper just invited me to the big junior dance at the country club Christmas afternoon. Really? Isn't it wild? Wonderful. And guess what, Mom? What? Mr. Edward at the Y invited Jerry and me to go caroling on Christmas Eve. He it, did? At first he said Jerry couldn't go because he was too little. Yeah. I sang White Christmas and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. <laughs> well... This all sounds pretty exciting. A dance at the country club and caroling on Christmas Eve. Sounds great, doesn't it, Viv? It sounds fine to me. Well, uh, while you're out caroling, we'll be trimming our trees. Yes, we'll be trimming our trees. <laughs> Mom? Yeah? What do you want to tell us? Oh, what, what, what is it? What, what did I want to tell you? We, had, we were going to tell them something. Oh, yeah. I heard great news on the radio. The weatherman said it's going to snow. Snow! Yeah, we're all going to be together for a white Christmas. Oh, oh white Christmas! Is this enough bread for the dressing? Yeah, plenty. Hey. 
Lucy, now what are these chestnuts doing here? You know perfectly well that we agreed on oyster dressing. I know, and I'm just sick. We're not going to be able to have it. And why not? Well, I just remembered you're, you're only supposed to eat oysters in the months that don't have an R in them, and, and December has an R in it, so uh, I guess we're stuck with the chestnut dressing. <laughs> oh, gee, it's a good thing you remembered. It's very bad to... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You're supposed to eat oysters in the months that do have R in them. By George, you're right. <laughs> you never can get that straight. Nice try. <laughs> Girl, I'm ready to go caroling. Well, honey, do you know the words to all the carols? All but good King Winslow. If they sing that, I'll just have to fake it. <laughs> I didn't know you were going, Chris. Well, since this is the first Christmas Eve we've all been together... I thought I ought to go caroling with my two best buddies. Oh. Uh, I think that's sweet. Sweet nothing. She just found out that Alan Harper's going along as one of the counselors. Stand ready. So long. Aren't those oysters gorgeous? You're not going to eat that. <laughs> you bet your life I am. <laughs> I'm trim my tree. <laughs> oh, there's just nothing as good as a raw oyster. <laughs> something. Oh, Lucy, that's my favorite ornament. Oh. I paid a dollar and a half for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I broke it very much. <laughs> oh, sure. It's not broken very much. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Viv. Uh, uh, it was an accident. I'll buy you another one. Well, all right. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to Did ride. Did you see a... this? I've had this since I was a little girl. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now then, I guess I'll plug in my light. Huh? Isn't that good? Gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Now then, let's see. One more, maybe one more. Where would I put just one more book? Oh! Oh, oh, oh no, you stepped on my set. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Lucy. Oh. I can see you there. Oh, I didn't know I was there. Oh. I didn't know he was on the floor. Oh. From now on, you'll have to call him Chris Crinkled. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucy. It's been on every Christmas tree since I was a little girl. I'm sorry. I'm never going to be able to replace well, it. Well, I'll try. Even if you did, it wouldn't be the same. Well, now then, let's not spoil it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> oh, I find it is to ride one Lord <laughs> What? I think that branch is a little too long for the rest of the tree. Well, it certainly is. You cut my light. I cut it? Yes, you did. Well, I didn't mean to cut it. You did it on purpose. I did not do it on purpose. You did do, do it on purpose just because I, I stepped on your old sad Santa. Aha! Uh -huh. Then you stepped on him deliberately, huh? And you cut my lights deliberately. I did not 
do it deliberately. You did too. Look, Viv, if I wanted to ruin your tree, I could ruin it if I wanted to.
Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, Viv. <laughs>